Do you ever feel like you're an empath navigating through a world that doesn't quite understand you? Well, you might just be a Sigma empath. But what happens when these extraordinary individuals encounter the male species? Stick around as we delve into the intricacies of Sigma empaths and why, more often than not, they tend to overlook men. Welcome back, seekers of insight and understanding. Today we're diving deep into the enigmatic world of Sigma empaths, those rare souls who possess a unique blend of sensitivity, intuition, and independence. But while their empathic abilities allow them to connect deeply with others, there's a puzzling trend that's emerged many Sigma empaths find themselves unintentionally sidelining men in their lives. Before we dissect the reasons behind this phenomenon, let's first shed some light on who Sigma empaths are. Unlike traditional empaths who thrive on emotional connections, Sigma empaths are characterized by their fierce independence, profound intuition, and an insatiable thirst for authenticity. They're the silent observers in a crowded room, absorbing the energy around them with an acute sense of awareness. Now, imagine these enigmatic beings encountering the male counterparts of our species. While some connections may flourish, there's often a noticeable pattern of Sigma empaths seemingly disregarding men in their orbit. Today we're embarking on a journey to unravel this mystery as we explore the seven compelling reasons behind why Sigma empaths might ignore men. So buckle up because we're about to dive deep into the intricacies of the human psyche. Reason 1. Lack of Emotional Depth as Sigma empaths, it's not merely about surface-level interactions, they crave depth, authenticity, and emotional resonance. Picture Sarah, a Sigma empath with a penchant for probing beneath the surface. She finds herself drawn to Alex, a charming and charismatic man who at first glance seems to check all the boxes. However, as their connection deepens, Sarah realizes that Alex struggles to engage in meaningful conversations about emotions and inner struggles. His reluctance to delve into the depths of his psyche leaves Sarah feeling unfulfilled, ultimately leading her to distance herself from the relationship. This scenario is all too familiar for many Sigma empaths. Despite their best efforts to forge genuine connections, they often find themselves met with emotional barriers from men who are conditioned to suppress vulnerability and maintain a stoic facade. It's not that these men lack emotions altogether, rather. Societal norms have taught them to prioritize strength and resilience over emotional expression. As a result, Sigma empaths may feel disconnected and disenchanted, seeking solace in relationships that offer the depth and authenticity they crave. Consider the story of Rachel, a Sigma empath who yearns for a partner who can meet him on an emotional level. He meets James, a kind-hearted man with a warm smile and a genuine demeanor. Initially, Rachel is captivated by James's charm, but as their relationship progresses, he begins to notice a lack of emotional depth in their interactions. James, while affectionate and caring, struggles to articulate her feelings and fears, leaving Rachel feeling emotionally unfulfilled. Despite his efforts to communicate his needs, Rachel finds himself increasingly distant from James, ultimately choosing to end the relationship in search of someone who can provide the depth of connection he craves. In both Sarah and Rachel's stories, we see a common theme, the yearning for emotional depth and vulnerability in relationships. While Sigma empaths are adept at navigating the complexities of human emotions, they often find themselves at odds with societal expectations that discourage men from embracing their emotional side. As a result, they may unintentionally overlook men who are unable or unwilling to meet them on this deeper, more intimate level. Reason 2. Discomfort with Vulnerability Imagine Emily, a Sigma empath who thrives on authenticity and genuine connections. She finds herself in a social gathering surrounded by acquaintances engaging in small talk and surface-level conversations. Despite her best efforts to participate, Emily feels a sense of discomfort with the superficial interactions taking place around her. She longs for meaningful exchanges where vulnerability is embraced, yet she struggles to find that connection amidst the facade or norms. In a world where vulnerability is often equated with weakness, many men are conditioned to mask their true emotions and maintain a facade of strength. From a young age, they're taught to suppress their feelings and uphold a stoic exterior, believing that displaying vulnerability makes them less masculine. This societal pressure creates a barrier between Sigma empaths and men, 
as the former yearned for authentic connections built on vulnerability and emotional openness. As Emily navigates through the social landscape, she finds herself drawn to men who exude authenticity and vulnerability. However, she often encounters resistance from those who are unwilling to let down their guard and embrace their emotions openly. This disconnect leaves Emily feeling frustrated and disillusioned, leading her to unintentionally overlook men who are unable to meet her emotional needs. The discrepancy between Sigma empaths' discomfort with superficial interactions and societal norms discouraging men from being vulnerable creates a palpable tension in relationships. While Sigma empaths long for genuine connections where vulnerability is celebrated, they often find themselves at odds with men who are conditioned to hide their emotions behind a mask of strength. This incongruence ultimately leads Sigma empaths to overlook men who are unable or unwilling to break free from the constraints of societal expectations and embrace vulnerability in its truest form. Reason 3. Need for Independence Meet Michael a Sigma empath who values his independence and autonomy above all else. He's a free spirit, marching to the beat of his own drum and cherishing his ability to chart his own course in life. Michael's desire for independence isn't just a preference, it's a fundamental aspect of who he is. He thrives in environments where he's free to explore his passions and pursue his dreams without feeling tethered to anyone else. Now, imagine Michael encountering Mark, a well-meaning man who is eager to build a connection with him. At first, Michael is intrigued by Mark's charisma and charm, but as their relationship progresses, he begins to feel suffocated by Mark's constant need for reassurance and validation. Mark's clinginess and dependency on Michael for emotional support start to infringe upon his need for independence, leaving him feeling trapped and restless. This dynamic isn't unique to Michael and Mark, it's a common occurrence for many Sigma empaths who value their autonomy above all else. While they may appreciate the companionship and support of others, they're also fiercely protective of their independence and freedom. When faced with individuals who are overly dependent or clingy, Sigma empaths may find themselves instinctively pulling away, unwilling to compromise their autonomy for the sake of a relationship. Consider the scenario of Sarah, a Sigma empath who revels in her freedom to explore the world on her own terms. She meets David, a well-intentioned man who is eager to become a part of her life. However, as their relationship blossoms, Sarah begins to feel stifled by David's constant need for her attention and validation. His inability to respect her boundaries and give her the space she needs ultimately drives a wedge between them, causing Sarah to distance herself from the relationship in search of the independence she craves. In both Michael and Sarah's stories, we see a recurring theme the clash between Sigma Empath's desire for independence and autonomy and the tendency of some men to inadvertently infringe upon this need. While Sigma Empaths may value companionship and connection, they're also fiercely protective of their independence, unwilling to compromise their autonomy for the sake of a relationship. When faced with individuals who are overly dependent or clingy, Sigma empaths may find themselves instinctively pulling away, unwilling to sacrifice their freedom for the sake of a relationship. Reason 4. Lack of emotional intelligence. Enter Alex, a Sigma empath with an innate understanding of the intricate nuances of human emotions. He navigates through life with a heightened sense of emotional intelligence, effortlessly picking up on subtle cues and signals from those around him. For Alex, emotional intelligence isn't just a skill, it's a way of life, a vital tool that allows him to forge meaningful connections and navigate complex social dynamics with ease. Now, picture Alex encountering Chris, a well-meaning man who struggles to navigate the labyrinth of human emotions. Despite his best intentions, Chris often finds himself at a loss when it comes to understanding the feelings and motivations of others. His lack of emotional awareness and empathy creates a disconnect between him and Alex, leaving the latter feeling misunderstood and alienated. The discrepancy in emotional intelligence between Alex and Chris highlights a common challenge that many Sigma empaths face when interacting with men. While Sigma empaths are highly attuned to the emotional landscape of those around them, some men may lack the emotional awareness needed to connect with them on a deeper level. This disconnect can lead to feelings of frustration and isolation for Sigma empaths, ultimately causing them to overlook men who are unable to meet them on an emotional level. Consider the scenario of Emily, 
a Sigma empath who values emotional depth and authenticity in her relationships. She meets Jack, a kind-hearted man with a warm smile and a genuine demeanor. Initially, Emily is drawn to Jack's charm and charisma, but as their relationship progresses, she begins to notice a lack of emotional depth in their interactions. Despite her best efforts to communicate her feelings and needs, Jack struggles to understand the complexities of her emotions, leaving Emily feeling unheard and unfulfilled. In Emily's story, we see a clear example of how the gap in emotional intelligence between Sigma empaths and men can lead to feelings of frustration and disillusionment. While Emily longs for a partner who can meet her on an emotional level, Jack's inability to connect with her on this deeper, more intimate level ultimately causes her to overlook him in search of someone who can provide the emotional connection she craves. Reason 5. Preference for Authenticity Meet Rachel, a Sigma empath who cherishes authenticity above all else in her relationships. She values honesty, transparency, and genuine connections built on a foundation of trust. For Rachel, authenticity isn't just a preference, it's a non-negotiable aspect of any meaningful relationship, a guiding principle that shapes her interactions with others and defines the way she navigates through the world. Now, envision Rachel encountering Tom, a well-meaning man who, like many others, feels the weight of societal expectations bearing down upon him. From a young age, Tom was taught to conform to society's rigid standards of masculinity to project an image of strength and invulnerability, even at the expense of his true self. As a result, Tom finds himself wearing a mask, a facade that conceals his insecurities and vulnerabilities from the world around him. The misalignment between Rachel's preference for authenticity and Tom's societal conditioning creates a palpable tension in their relationship. While Rachel longs for a partner who can embrace his true self and be vulnerable in her presence, Tom feels compelled to maintain his facade to hide behind layers of armor that shield him from the perceived judgment of others. This incongruence ultimately causes Rachel to overlook Tom as she finds herself unable to connect with someone who is unwilling to let down his guard and show her his authentic self. Consider the story of Sarah a Sigma empath who values authenticity and transparency in his interactions with others. He meets Ryan, a man with a magnetic personality and a genuine demeanor. Initially, Sarah is drawn to Ryan's authenticity, but as their relationship progresses, he begins to notice inconsistencies in her behavior, small discrepancies that hint at a hidden truth beneath the surface. Despite his best efforts to uncover the truth, Sarah finds himself increasingly disillusioned by Ryan's inability to be authentic and transparent with him. In both Rachel and Sarah's stories, we see a recurring theme the clash between Sigma empaths' preference for authenticity and societal pressures that encourage men to mask their true selves. While Sigma empaths value honesty, transparency, and genuine connections, they often find themselves at odds with men who feel compelled to conform to societal standards of masculinity. This misalignment creates a barrier between Sigma empaths and men, causing the former to overlook the latter in their search for authentic and meaningful relationships. Reason 6. Miscommunication and Misinterpretation Picture this Sarah, a Sigma empath, finds herself in a conversation with David, a well-meaning man who approaches communication with a direct and assertive style. As they exchange words, Sarah notices a subtle shift in David's demeanor, an undercurrent of tension brewing beneath the surface. Confused by David's abrupt tone, Sarah struggles to decipher his intentions, leading to a series of misunderstandings that leave both parties feeling frustrated and misunderstood. Miscommunication is like a tangled web, a complex maze of words, gestures, and unspoken cues that can easily lead to misunderstandings if left unchecked. For Sigma empaths like Sarah, who place a premium on clear and open communication, navigating this labyrinth of miscommunication can be particularly challenging. They're attuned to the subtle nuances of human interaction, picking up on the slightest shifts in tone or body language that others may overlook. Yet, despite their best efforts to bridge the communication gap, Sigma empaths may find themselves grappling with misunderstandings and misinterpretations in their interactions with men. The disconnect in communication styles between Sigma empaths and men is like two ships passing in the night, each sailing to the beat of its own drum, yet unable to find common ground amidst the vast expanse of the ocean. 
While Sigma empaths tend to approach communication with empathy and sensitivity, men may adopt a more direct and assertive style, often prioritizing efficiency over emotional nuance. This difference in communication styles can create friction and tension in relationships, as Sigma empaths struggle to decode the intentions behind men's words and actions. So how can we bridge the communication gap between Sigma empaths and men? The key lies in fostering empathy, understanding and mutual respect. Both parties must be willing to meet each other halfway, acknowledging and respecting the unique communication styles and preferences of the other. By cultivating an environment of open dialogue and active listening, Sigma empaths and men can work together to unravel the complexities of communication, paving the way for deeper understanding and connection. It's through this shared commitment to communication and empathy that bridges can be built, bridging the gap between Sigma empaths and men and fostering authentic and meaningful relationships. Reason 7. Focus on personal growth. Let's dive into the lastly reason why Sigma empaths may overlook men their unwavering focus on personal growth. Meet Emily, a Sigma empath who views life as a journey of self-discovery and continual improvement. She thrives on challenges, constantly seeking out opportunities for growth and expansion in every aspect of her life. For Emily, personal development isn't just a hobby, it's a way of life, a guiding principle that shapes her decisions and drives her forward on her path to self-actualization. In Emily's pursuit of personal growth, relationships often take a back seat. She prioritizes her own development and well-being above all else, dedicating time and energy to honing her skills, exploring her passions, and nurturing her inner world. While she values companionship and connection, Emily refuses to compromise her own growth and happiness for the sake of a relationship. This unwavering focus on personal development may inadvertently lead her to overlook men who are unable to support or keep pace with her journey. Consider the scenario of Sarah, a Sigma empath who is deeply committed to his own personal growth and evolution. She immerses himself in books, workshops and self-reflection exercises, constantly striving to become the best version of himself. However, as Sarah's focus on personal growth intensifies, she finds himself increasingly detached from the world around him, including his relationships. Her relentless pursuit of self-improvement leaves little room for emotional investment in others, causing him to inadvertently overlook potential connections with men who may not share his same level of dedication to personal development. In both Emily and Sarah's stories, we see a common theme the prioritization of self over relationships in the pursuit of personal growth. While Sigma empaths value companionship and connection, they're also fiercely independent individuals who refuse to compromise their own growth and happiness for the sake of a relationship. This focus on personal development may inadvertently lead them to overlook men who are unable to support or keep pace with their journey, ultimately shaping the dynamics of their interpersonal relationships. In conclusion, we've explored the intricate reasons why Sigma empaths may often find themselves unintentionally overlooking men in their lives. From their prioritization of deep emotional connections to their discomfort with vulnerability, from their desire for independence to their focus on personal growth, these seven factors shed light on the complex dynamics that shape the interactions between Sigma empaths and men. While these differences may create challenges in relationships, it's essential to remember that understanding and connection are not out of reach. By fostering empathy, open communication, and mutual respect, both Sigma empaths and men can work together to bridge the gap and cultivate authentic and meaningful connections. It's through this shared commitment to understanding and connection that the barriers between Sigma empaths and men can be dismantled, paving the way for deeper, more fulfilling relationships. As we wrap up, I encourage you to share your experiences or insights in the comments section below. Have you encountered similar dynamics in your relationships? What strategies have you found effective in fostering understanding and connection between Sigma empaths and men? Your input is invaluable in continuing this conversation and fostering a greater understanding of the complexities of human relationships. Thank you for joining me on this journey of exploration and discovery. Until next time, Take care and keep seeking deeper connections. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.